right, Bruce, with you and at you again for one more before declaration. Uh, I know I owe you guys a GDXY. I have all the data to do it, but just since it wasn't paying out, I wanted to get all the other ones done, so I may do it after the markets. Uh, but still bullish, not a lot has changed. I just think we don't wake up till around Fed time uh, on the gold and silver stocks. All right, let's jump into Misty, 1638.77. It was up 11. Now, pre-market, right? Uh, let's get it up. Actually, BTC is down a little bit. Let's get Mr. up and see what we're doing. We've got a little Mr. Activity. Clearly from where it closed at, what, what, what did I say we were, like 1638? Yeah, right in there. And then we've gone up, pulled back a little, and, and, and Bitcoin has pulled back a little, but still up in the market. So it may not be as bad for coin and Coney, as I thought on overrunning those. We're looking pretty good in Misty. I'm still expecting a good payout. So let's jump in. So no trades today, although shares. So everybody's buying shares to get in. You know, Coney, Misty, Ybit, they're all going to be great, right? Ybit's new, but people are going to find out. So... They're keeping that cash, readying it for paying out, right? So when you pull it in, normally you buy, but when you got distribution announcement coming and the payday is on the 7th, two days after today, then they want to hang on to that cash, right? Get it ready. So they don't have to roll as much in case they have to roll, like Coney's going to have to roll. All right. So let's look, so no trades, let's look at weeklies, and then holdings really tells us, right? So up, up, and up on implied volatility, right? So you can see how we've overrun these guys at 1610, 1615, right? We're 1638, around 1650 in pre-market, as high as 1670. I mean, if Bitcoin can get through 72 or 73, then this is off to 1800, which was my minimum head and shoulders, and possibly higher. To, you know, it all depends on BTC. Mr. mimics it very close, right? Much closer than Coinbase does, and, and Coney. Um, so, this is our situation where, yeah, the problem is these guys are low counts, right? Seven, 770 and 1800, even 1700 is a ways out there, but you got full three trading days. These guys could get stomped on, right? And it's 965. Now, Misty, because it's smaller ownership, right? And I don't think people, people are afraid of MicroStrategy. They're like one stock. I don't really know if, what do they do? Michael Saylor's a BTC spokesperson. Well, you just nailed it with that, right? He's innovative and he's brilliant. Probably one of the smartest, if not the smartest person. Him and Elon Musk would be an interesting uh, pairing, right, in an IQ competition. Um, so it's, I mean, he's a rocket, MIT rocket scientist. What does that tell you about Michael Saylor? So they've just done some innovative things. He's the one that really helped me to understand and have confidence that BTC was more than this crypto meme, shit coins, and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, all right, I'll, I'll get into my main stuff. Misty. So we're looking good, right? We're going to possibly overrun some scenarios here, which could cost us, but the money here and the share count smaller, so it's all relative. So we've just about lost 7 million, right? So 93% of this amount added to this amount is what we would have to pay if it closed right now. Well, there's always time premium that gets reduced, right? So here we are. 
3708 is what we collected. We'd have to buy everything back for 7,178. 7, so you can see the ones, and this guy is the worst scenario, right? We'd have to pay 6,6. Six. Well, at 1638, which is where we are, if we ended the week at that, this would drop to $27, right? So not quite so ugly, a teaching moment for you guys, right? So 1638 runs out, then we're only $28, right? There's my right. So all of a sudden, we make a little bit of money. We captured 15% if it just stayed at, at 1638, right? But you know, it gets worse as it goes above that number. But I, I always like to teach you guys and show you stuff so that I, if I drill it and drill it for those that want to learn, you eventually understand it better, right? So you got these weeklies. Now, on the synthetic, you know, we moved up. Not a lot, though, but we're over our strike price. That's the key because our strike price is 15.40, right? So we've got 12,295,000 of money. Again, it's paper profit. If we rolled, if we sold it, we would have that money, right? And they'll probably do that for the payout, right? But it's not a big deal in getting there or, or doing it. Don't, don't think rolls are necessarily bad they're just not necessary sometimes. And it's how you turn a paper profit into cash. It's just like selling a stock. Hey, I want to buy a brand new car. I got 100,000 profit in my stock account. Well, if you want to pull out cash and all you own is securities, you better sell something to give you that 60 grand to pay cash on that car you want to buy, right? So no different. That rolling is just a form of getting out of one expiration and moving into another and oh by the way you get to capture the cash right now if you buy another one right then but just putting it in position in another one if you go out higher than the value so when you buy a call it's cheap and selling a put refunds you right or gives you money so that's really makes a difference, right? If they're trading at 1638 and they're bullish in the next couple of weeks, they could go to a, a 1650 or 1700, right? Strike price. And then they put money in their account just by buying calls and selling puts because the puts give them more money. The risk is you ultimately have to buy it back at a loss. But if it goes up, it all comes out. All right. Let me see what I can probably just jump in the payment. Uh, let's go over this. 3433, 3420, right? Net asset, net asset value versus market value. We added 75,000 shares. We didn't put any more contracts because we want to save that cash. 1.33%. It just about matches Coney, who did like 425 or 375. I forget the number. But you get the idea. They take a much bigger volume because our share count. I kind of like it personally. I'll never forget that first payout. We were 1.3 million. When I first looked at it, we got this to like 1098, right? We had a, you know, we had a couple bucks here and we had this at, at 1098. And I'm like, yeah, maybe we're going to get a $6 payment. I knew they weren't going to pay all of it. And it was real. But, you know, as soon as you announce that, and the market hears that and, and savvy people, right? You guys are watching YouTube. Maybe another YouTuber told you, right? But I'll never forget it. And all of a sudden, 400,000 shares flooded in, which is nothing in NVIDIA or Tesla or uh, some of the big funds, right? Even Coney in comparison, who's got 25 million, 26 million here. So we're a fifth. So I kind of like it, right? Keep the share count down. Let us insiders get all the stuff, right? So, because there's nothing preventing a ton of people, especially if there wasn't the NAV reduction, right? Everybody always goes, well, I wish they didn't have that. Well, there's no way 
you can eat up a fund's cash and not account for it, right? It's just accounting 101. So anyway, guys, we got a, a $2 loss here, right? There's, did I, yeah, this is updated. Just making sure on holdings. Yep, I got this dialed in now where everything feeds everything. I don't have to, every once in a while I don't get something right. So, where are we going to get paid? We're going to get paid out of this, right? Which is this. So, what do we have? Well, that, that's old data. We're now, it's not down anymore. It's, that's an old, I'll take it out. We're at 12 million. 12.2. So, what's our history? It was 10. Look at this. We were losing. It's the first time in Misty in a while we were losing, right? We have 1.5 million, we're losing 400,000, making 10.6, now we're making 12.2. So if, you know, we don't want this week this to run too high, but if it does run too high and hurt us on the 3 million and we got to spend 7 and this gets up to 11, then this is going to be 16, 17, 18. We'll be looking good. So yin and yang. All right, let's talk about the payout. So I said two to two five, right? Boy, I'm using right a lot. I, I don't know. Um, I guess I'm just asking myself if you understand. Um, two dollars to two fifty. I think I said two forty two in my prediction. I'll have to pull that up because I'm gonna do a video update right after they announce about eight thirty Eastern today, which is only an hour and thirty two minutes. So, because uh, I know you guys want it. So if you're in the car, you're driving, you can only listen, you can't watch, I'll call out Coney, Misty, and Ybit. There's no GDX payment going to happen. Um, but keep buying GDXY. It's cheap right now, right? The next week it could get even cheaper. And then I think we start to move around Fed week. Okay, so that's what we got. I... I'll stick with 242. I think they want the fund to be over two dollars. Could it be 220? Sure. I think most of you'd be happy with two bucks. So would I. But I'm hoping for 240. Okay, that's what I got. Bruce out. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please, before you make any investments, always clear it with a financial advisor. All right, see you guys. This is for fun and entertainment. Hope you were entertained. I think you're going to have a lot of fun on the payout declaration. Let's hope for all of us. And by the way, all the new subscribers, welcome. All of my loyal guys, you know it. You guys have been nothing but loyal. This channel is growing like crazy. I'm putting out more content. I got a lot more for you. I got gas in the tank. All right, see ya. Bye.